The loudspeakers that blasted criticisms of the reclusive regime and even played South Korean music across the border is on mute. The decision to stop the propaganda broadcast is part of efforts to set a positive tone as the two sides gear up to open up for talks towards peace. Park ji explains further. From Monday, South Korea suspended its anti-Pyongyang, anti-Kim Jong-un regime broadcasts from its loudspeakers along the border between the two Koreas. South Korea's defense ministry said the decision to suspend propaganda broadcasts from some 40 broadcast speakers along the border was to ease tensions on the Korean peninsula and to create a peaceful atmosphere for the summit talks. We hope the suspension contributes to stopping mutual slander and propaganda between the two Koreas and to achieving a new beginning of peace. Meanwhile, starting this Monday, South Korea and the United States start their annual military exercise as planned. K-Resolve is a two-week command post exercise with computer-based simulations in two parts, one responding to a hypothetical attack by North Korea and the other an allied counterattack. Some 12,000 troops from South Korea and the U.S. will participate in the exercise, which is similar in size to last year's. South Korea's defense ministry said it has yet to decide whether the exercise will take place on Friday, the day of the summit. The South Korean chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Chung kyung doo and his U.S. counterpart, General Vincent Brooks, will make a final decision on the matter early this week. The four-week full eagle field training exercise is also underway, but the exercise has been low-key compared to past drills with no media exposure. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.